How's it going, everybody? Welcome to... Oh, shit! Hello! Well, that's one way to start an episode. Welcome back to Subnautica, everybody. Uh, crab people trying to eat me. But nonetheless, I have decided we're gonna come see, at the closest range possible, our good friends on the Sunbeam get eradicated by our space laser! Uh, but I was also gonna make the joke starting up, but I remembered to turn them off. Uh, the Seamoth parked on the beach, you left your lights on. So, if you guys remember the gun, this is where it leads you to. This up, oh, we got the diamond we needed, by accident. So we're gonna go get front row seats, with our knife, propped and ready. Going for knife fight a bunch of crab crawlers. Oh, we need salt. I think I got our flashlight, otherwise I wouldn't be able to see anything out here right now. Something's gonna bite us in the ass, I'm sure. We're gonna get front row seats. Probably get crushed to death. To the sunbeam landing. Landing. There's our space laser. We can always go take a look at the space laser for a little bit here while we wait. Might be able to get a better view off of that thing, actually. We'll have to come back to this, I'm sure. I gotta say, alien architecture, though, it's pretty spot on. It's really nice. I don't think we can get... Oh, no, we can get in here, because there is one of these just laying on the ground. Oh, it's broken. Hopefully we keep the coordinate location for the landing spot. Force field control. Can I make one of these? Oh, force fields would be awesome. Nah, data download. What's it say? This device matches no known technologies and is likely alien in nature. Power is being routed via the terminal to the nearby force field. The technology is far beyond anything encountered before the Feder by the Federation. Nonetheless, there is a good chance it functions like a regular lock, only and only requires the current kind. Correct kind of key. Alright then. So, we found the Halo device. We can't get into the device. Can we climb onto the device, though? Ooh! Skyrim butt shimmy! Ah! Ow! Huh! You know, this isn't the kind of game I ex Oh, no. Well, damn it. Let's hope they arrive during the day, because I ran my flashlight out. Shit. Alright, well we're gonna wait the 16 minutes out, and uh, I'll see you guys when the sunbeam gets here, I guess. We're gonna wait here by the light, where I can see things. Alright, we got about a minute left, guys, and they'll... Uh, they'll be here. I didn't plan for this, but it's about to be nighttime. So, uh, get ready for one hell of a light show, I'm gonna say. Is it? Oh, wait, no, that was just a planet passing in front of the sun. Never mind. It's gonna be daytime, I guess. I thought it was gonna- I thought that was the sun going down. But, uh, 50- about 50 seconds, and, uh, rip sunbeam, because that thing's not turned off. I did find out from Quill, uh, no, you cannot, uh, you cannot rush the game to turn it off. It's a scripted event. Even if you were to run through the entire game and never hit the radio, and do everything you needed to do so you could turn that gun off, the sunbeam just comes in and explodes. Oh, there it is! Planetary defense systems are active. Oh boy. That's good. That is so freaking cool! Survivor, we see you. Man, I don't know how you held out down there. Uh, we broke an atmosphere, and we're descending towards the landing site. You might want to not do that. Is that a building down there? What do you mean you can't identify it? Uh-oh. Hold on. There's no turning back now. Positions, everyone. 
Hmm. Touching down in ten, nine, eight. Is that little speck the ship? Well, that's not. It's good. coming from the building. Change course. Set thrusters to full. Yeah. That's about what I expected was gonna happen. Well, now there's a whole bunch of new wreckage spots to go investigate. Well. Yep. We're gonna have to turn that off. If we're ever gonna get off this planet. Damn. Hey, cool, you were right. There is still a glitch. There was no ship. So I don't know what the sunbeam looks like still. Just get a YouTube video to superimpose it over. You'll be fine. Yeah, we'll just we'll just edit it in there. This gun is the coolest friggin' thing in the game though. Oh my god. If only you could carry it with you. Right? Alright, uh do I get to keep the marker for the landing site? Uh, the marker's gone. That sucks. Well, that being said, I need to go get batteries. We are absolutely building a base out here, though. Ah, hello. Duck, dodge, and die this guy here. Alright, we do still need... The moon pool. Welcome aboard, Captain. Oh god, I can't see anything. Alright, so we're gonna head back to I hope that was just water. God, I hope that was just water. <laughs> ah! Hello! Emergency power only. Oh crap, what happened? Welcome oh, got power. Aboard, Captain. Okay, well, welcome home to... I guess we may as well consider this home now, considering we're not getting off this planet. Not until I find a way to turn that gun off. Playing partially translated broadcast. Nine new biological subjects designated. Mode. Hunting. Analyzing. Sharing subject locations with other agents. What was that? Well, we could turn that off. That was terrifying. I think I needed a battery. Is there a battery with like a 3% charge on it? This should make us the laser cutter fine. Well, I'll be getting late, but we have it now. Yay. Wait, I have a... Oh, because with an ion cube and two diamonds, I can make a purple tablet. Because I picked that up while we were out there. There was a, a broken one and a scannable one. What was that? Let's get all that noise out of here. Damn unruly neighbors. Oh, oh it's a... It's him again. Dickhead. Alright, so we have a secondary base we needed to go take a look at. Let's go see if we can't find... That's not the camera we're looking for. Those are the cameras we're looking for. There's cameras three and four this way. We need to find the moon pool this episode, and we need to get to the point of having that. Because I am losing battery life on this Seamoth. 
and we need the moon pool. It is important. Thankfully, we have the laser cutter now. A very important tool. And we are alone. We are very, very alone. Shut up, Jill. We're not completely alone. Alright, they give us next to nothing. What's the radio gonna say? This is an automated distress signal from Live Pod 12. Coordinates attack. Oh. Warning. Live Pod has sunk beyond safe diving distance. Do not attempt retrieval without submersible support. Signal location uploaded to PDA. Oh, it's over there. I need water. So, oh, I have plenty of locations of that thing for water right here outside of the base. Okay, we're not going to dehydrate. Vital signs stable. We have water again. We have at least three more bottles of water. We need to find the water making machine. Honestly, that's the thing we miss. Uh, we found Life Pod 12's thingy. Back to looking for the moon pool. Because that's the other big thing we're gonna need. Alright, so there should be a fragment up over here. Man, that's a cool location. That is definitely a Cyclops part. Something's reminding me of where we are. Something bad. What other pieces are nearby? Ow! What the hell was that? That's a piece of the Cyclops. So there's a lot of chunks of Cyclops over here. Alright, so there's definitely a bunch of Cyclops fragments right over here. That we can definitely get to. I'm just worried because I remember shooting over here in like episode 5 and seeing the giant serpent of death. And I don't really want to try and get the Cyclops where the giant serpent of death lives. God damn it. What the hell did I just hit? Is it just the wall? Because it didn't... What the... What am I hitting? Nothing there! Oh, friggin' instant. Is this another instance of shit's not loading? I'll go around it then. Whatever it is that I can't see. Oh! <gasps> hey guys! I found him! There he is! See, now that is exactly why I utilize the cameras. Because that son of a bitch is gonna eat us if we go that way. So we're definitely not gonna go that way. Habitat is now on emergency power. Only. Which one is that that just ran out of power? It's got to be the one like right here down in the area south of the big lizard of death, snake of death, serpent, the reaper leviathan. So we know what I was hitting it was the reaper leviathan. Now that that's now that that question has been solved. While well, we're waiting for the sun to come back up. Let's go take a look at this place. I 
But now that the sun's out, let's see if we can't figure out exactly where Mr. Death likes to hang out. I mean, I can tell you all of these fragments we're seeing on the screen right now are... They are in no man's land. We are not allowed there. Because this area is under the protection of one hell of a monster. I know he's here, I just don't see him. Like the water's weird and murky here for some reason. All I know is that this ridge is danger. And it's really funny how, like, actually close we are by accident. I know he's there. You just, just can't see him. Another interesting thing to note, if you deconstruct one of those and reconstruct it, and your cameras are out of it, you get new cameras. And the cameras that are out of it don't go away. You could effectively have infinite cameras. Just pointing that out. It's weird. But I use cameras for beacons, so the more cameras I have, I'm not going to complain about. Let's check this little thing here. That's just a laser cutter. So there should be lead over here? Just lead? Oh, it's one of these. It's a chunk of it you can probably mine somehow. I still haven't figured that out. Well, this is a predicament. I was trying to get the parts to be able to make the next base location. And the sea moth has sunk into the what, what seems to be the terrain. That's the sea moth right there, is it not? But there it was. Something's happened. It definitely was there. That's where I parked. Well, that being said, that's one hell of a setback all of a sudden. The stupid propulsion can I have everything we need to go move ourselves in down at the friggin' mushroom zone so that we can get Cyclops. I guess we'll do that in the next episode. I've already been doing this for two hours to farm all this up, uh, all this stuff up. We set back because we found every part we need for it, but it's protected by a friggin' Reaper Leviathan. Well, we have our outpost near that those two new locations of biomes we've never seen before. Um, we got to watch half of an explosion. <laughs> Either way, guys, don't forget to leave your comments down below. Click the like button if you enjoyed this. Click the dislike button if you didn't enjoy it. Let me know what you think. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Have a good one, everybody. Stupid Seamoth.